to have two different data sets for this chart. So in this case, I have the information of a sales manager, her sales, her target, and her reach target. And then I have two columns over here, donut and pie. And this table is actually gonna be useful for us to make our gauge chart. So I wanna click on cell H3 and I'm gonna put an equal sign over here. Uh, I just wanna select this cell over here and I'm gonna multiply it by 100. I'm just converting the percentage to a whole number. So the 63% became 63. And then on cell H5, I wanna type in here equal to 200. This is a standard number, don't worry about it. Minus 63 minus one. And I'm gonna click enter. And you're gonna end up with 136. Now I wanna select up from cell G2 down to cell H6. And I wanna go up to the insert menu. And I'm gonna look on the chart section for the combo chart. And I'm gonna look for a create custom combo chart. And this is gonna bring up this pop-up window. I wanna make sure that I'm on the combo section. And as you can see here, you have two series names. You have the donut and the pie. And we need to change the chart type. So I'm gonna click on donut and I'm gonna look here for a donut. So it's here and then I'm gonna do the same for the pie. But this time instead of, instead of a donut, I'm gonna look for the pie. And it's gonna look like this. And now as a final step in this section, you're gonna click on this checkbox of the secondary axis on the pie. You might have to click it twice so that it looks like this on the preview and then click OK. So my chart is over here now. So I'm gonna go up to the format menu and I'm gonna go to the current selection. I wanna change here where it says series pie and then I wanna click on format selection. And this is gonna open up the right pane. I'm gonna look for the angle of first slice and I'm gonna type 270 in here, okay? So now you see that the colors or the sections of the pie have shifted. Don't worry about it for now. Um, now let's change the colors of this section. So I wanna select it first, the blue one. I'm gonna go up to the shape fill and I'm gonna be, make this transparent. Okay, so as you can see, the donut pie is below this one. So we need to do the other sections transparent so that the only one visible is gonna be the needle. So after I do this, I wanna press Ctrl and right arrow to select the other one because it's really tiny. Okay, so I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna set it as black, all right? And then I wanna press again Ctrl and right arrow to select the gray chart. I'm gonna make it transparent as well, okay? So we're done with formatting the pie section. Now we need to do the same thing for the donut. So on the current selection, we're gonna look for the donut, okay? I'm gonna click on format selection and then I'm gonna go to the angle of first slice and I'm gonna put 270 as well. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter and it shifted. So now I wanna change the colors of this. So I wanna click here again and you might have to press control and left arrow until you see this section selected. So now I have selected the yellow one. I wanna change the fill to no fill. So there we go, we have our gauge chart ready. So now to see if it's working as it should, I'm gonna change the target of Britney Spears. I'm gonna change it to $20,000, okay? So as you can see, her target was 48% and this is what the gauge chart is showing. Now what happens if um, her sales become closer to that 20,000 target. I'm gonna click 
this number right here. And as you can see, she now reached a 98% and the gauge chart is showing me that. So that's how it works. If you want to change the area of these colors, you can do it over here on the donut section. Just make sure that these three cells add up to 100. So 15 and this could be 10 and this could be 75. Okay, so you can see how the area changes. And that's pretty much it. In a different video, I'm going to show you how to format this so that it looks a little bit more professional. Thanks for watching that video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be supporting entrepreneurship in Central America and motivating me to make more videos. Thanks again. See you next time.